Hi, my name is Carl Rogillo. I'm the head of the retina service here at Will's Eye Hospital. This is my OR day, and it's an exciting time in retina once again on the surgical side because we have new technology. This is 27 gauge, uh, the vitrectomy platform, the smallest yet. Routinely, we've been using 23 and 25 now for five, six, eight years and have enjoyed micro-incisional vitrectomy surgery and all the benefits. This takes us to the next level, even smaller with better wound construction. The question is, is how will we incorporate it in the full spectrum of vitreoretinal surgery that we do, all the different indications, anything from uh, more limited macular pucker type cases to more involved retinal attachments and proliferative diabetic retinopathy traction detachment cases. Well, I think this technology will have some widespread applicability. Not all surgeons may be comfortable with the platform, especially at first. It does take a little bit of getting used to. The instruments are a little bit more flexible and some of the maneuvers perhaps a little bit slower, but it does have some advantages. We already talked to wound construction by definition is gonna be better. There's no doubt about that. Uh, but intraoperatively, there may be some advantages, there may be some disadvantages. And we're all now just testing the waters because the technology is so new. So we're here doing cases with 27 gauge technology. Uh, we're doing some macular pucker cases, we're gonna do some holds, and we're gonna do some more complicated cases and try to figure out where it works best. So stay tuned. So we just completed a macula pucker case with 27 gauge uh, vitrectomy instrumentation uh, and it went very smoothly. The core vitrectomy uh, came along very nicely. We had to induce a posterior vitreous separation, very smooth, very much akin to 23 or 25 gauge. And the peeling process also went well. We used the, the max grip to get a hold of the epiretinal membrane because it works better for epiretinal membrane with the 27 gauge instrument compared to the ILM forceps, which are quite a bit smaller um, and are good for ILM with 27 gauge, but not quite as good for ERM. So that's, that's definitely something to consider when approaching a true macular pucker case.